Apple has announced a new line of products geared towards education. In an event yesterday, the tech company unveiled a version of the iPad available at a discounted rate for schools. The new 9.7-inch model has a pencil that works with it, is much faster, and works with augmented reality. Experts believe this announcement is an effort by Apple to compete against other products like Chromebooks that are more popular in schools. The new 9.7-inch iPad takes everything people love about our most popular iPad and make it even better for inspiring creativity and learning. So now our most affordable iPad has support for our most creative tool, Apple Pencil. CNET senior editor Scott Stein is with us now, and he even brought one of the new iPads with him. Let's check it out. There it yeah. is. Yeah, so it looks like an iPad. Looks <laughs> it's very, very similar. Yes. It, it basically is exactly the same design as, as last year's entry level, which is their best-selling model, is hmm. a 329, same price here, but they added pencil support, faster processor. The pencil is 99 bucks. This is 99 bucks, though. Yeah, right. I mean, it's it's great. And you can't you you can use it without the pencil, right? Yeah, you can use but it just like a regular you, iPad. Okay. And I mean, if you're doing art, if you if you're an artist, uh, you aspirations to that, it's a great tool. But it's a lot of money for that, and I think for everyday use, you're not necessarily going to go into it. But Apple is definitely putting forward. The creative mode now for the iPad and, and this creation mm -hmm. uh, initiative in schools, that seems like the focus from, from the event that I was at in Chicago. So is this their attempt to sort of get back into the classroom because they sort of lost momentum? I know my kids in first grade, every night uh, there's a component of her homework that includes either getting on the iPad or a computer. Hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I, th I think that, you know, you look at the, the, the sales and success of, of Chrome and, you know, it's, it's dominant now in schools. And so there's it definitely it's addressing that. Mm -hmm. They're more affordable. And this is not more affordable uh, <laughs> in its, as far as what it's being sold for. There's, it's two ninety nine for schools, but it's still expensive if you consider the proposition of the keyboard and the pencil. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, I look at my own kid's school, in a, you know, where he goes. Uh, he uses the iPad in an early age, but now he uses Chrome and Chromebooks. And a lot of talk from educators seems to be that they're a little more laptop-like. And I don't think anything was answered here with that. Mm. There are keyboards you can attach, but you're still using the same suite of iOS apps. Right. So yeah, it's a I mean, it, and, and when you say Chrome, I mean, because I've been an Apple guy pretty much my whole life. Mm. Uh, are there pads like an iPad that are made by other manufacturers? So Chrome just announced his first tablet, but that, that's actually a weak point for, for Chromebooks. There, there are tablet-like ones, mm -hmm. but they're nowhere near as good as this. So okay. I think it's where Apple's leaning in and saying the creative tools here are superior, uh, making movies, et cetera. And that, that may absolutely be true, but would a school want to put all of its uh, you know, feet forward into doing this versus getting a, a Chrome system that might be more affordable to set up? So what has been the reaction from schools, from parents, you know, how is this going over? Well, hard to tell yet because it's, you know, just coming back. Yeah. But I would say, you know, it's a little ambivalent because, you know, Apple's last initiative in, in 2012 to enter, uh, make a big splash in schools with, with digital textbooks, that didn't go over so great. Um, LA, you know, wanted to get involved with that and yeah. pulled out. So uh, I think there, there's a question here, will this really change the game? I do like the tools that Apple announced. There's a, there's a schoolwork uh, initiative, uh, it's an app, that allows you to link all of the apps in and allow you to build a curriculum based on them, which makes sense if you have like a little collection of apps that yeah. you say, okay, now I could actually track and hook into them. But um, I still want this to be more like a laptop. I mean, that's the thing yeah. that I—that's the thing that I'm missing the most. Right. And that's why you know you decide to get a MacBook, decide to get an iPad. That decision—it's still a split decision for Apple. Yeah. Uh, you know, it just strikes me, and correct me if I'm wrong, Scott, that. Apple no longer really innovates. We never, we don't really see products yeah. coming out of Apple and we go, whoa, so I need to get that. I mean, it's like you literally said it when you came onto the set. Right. It's a new iPad and it looks like an iPad. Yeah, it looks like an I iPad. I mean, if I put mine, yeah. which is like a third generation iPad here, I wouldn't, at first glance, you wouldn't be able to. And it difference. seems yeah. like the last series of announcements from Apple have been sort of lackluster mm -hmm. oh, and not that the you know the tools are great but like you said Vlad there's nothing sort of mind-blowing or or breaking with the mold yeah and I think people are waiting I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop on when the iPad and the MacBook will either fuse or you'll have more laptop like elements that didn't happen here there's nothing new on this like face ID or anything not that you would even need right. that in the school yeah. and I think this is all about the the value proposition you know the pencil and the iPad Pro came out in late 2015 mm. so now it's 2018 so this tech is, you know, this tech's been around, right. but it's about the idea of 
On the other hand, if I were to recommend an affordable iPad, I think this is going to be the best one out there. And it's nice that the price is dropping, but mm -hmm. you, could be, you could get cheap uh, iPad minis for a long time now on sales at the holiday around the $200 or so mark. And you know, I think people want the price to drop even further. 300, you know, 330 to 400, 500 plus, yeah. depending on the accessories, is, is still not super cheap. Yeah, Before I think we, at the end of the day, you're still like looking at an iPad, yeah, and I think it's yeah. hard to get over that exactly, because there's right. a lot that an iPad simply cannot do compared yeah. to a laptop or a desktop. You and know. you know, the, is, does that pen? Click on to anything, or it's 99 bucks if you've got right. a kid. I, I can know. See, I thought I'm going mean, to lose that. I mean, that. in other words, there's no yeah. there's no clip for so it. So what's nice is that it's fully. Uh, it, you know, there's no there's no. Oh, you mean literally? Like, yeah, I know. Click I, on I that mean, is going to no, be in no the bottom of my on. couch <laughs> in like 15 minutes after it I open rolls. The box. It rolls. <laughs> the cap is losable. Now they did address it. They didn't redesign this, but Logitech is making uh, uh, one that's designed for kids called Crayon. That's half price. But that is not Sounds pressure like sensitive. Sounds like a money grab to me. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't roll off the table. I was hoping for a redesign on this. Yeah, uh, you know, I wanted something that would, you know, like some case yeah. that would connect all I of mean, that. I mean, these are like the. Remember that Simpsons episode where Homer designed a car and everybody laughed at him because it had all the things that normal people would want. Right. That's where I think they need to go. They need to really have a Simpson <laughs> well, moment. And it still charges from the bottom of the iPad. Yeah, exactly. you, have to, you have to do this, so uh, you'll yeah, joke yeah, about yeah. that. That needs to be changed. But again, they're offering a bit of an educational discount for this. It's like eighty dollars. So oh, ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. So you know exactly twenty. Hey, exactly twenty dollars. We're, we're Apple people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We are. We are. We're Believe big it, Apple but this people. Even though we're rolling our eyes. This is expensive, and you can just use your finger. That's nothing for creative tools. You know, you could always do that with an iPad, and you could also create with other options in school. So, you know, you don't necessarily need to put everything on one device. All right, right. let's uh, talk real quick about this. In the wake of the Facebook and Cambridge Analytica scandal, uh, Apple took the time to actually address mm -hmm. privacy concerns with its own products. Here's what their VP of product marketing, Susan Prescott, had to say about that. Privacy is integral to everything we do at Apple, not just for students and teachers, but for everyone using an Apple product. It is something we are very passionate about. I right, feel so like we've claps. heard that before but yeah, I was from say, everybody's everyone. Like, oh yeah, that's great. Yeah. But like, we, we, you know, just saying it <laughs> is not the same as doing it or showing me how you do it. Yeah, and it's hard to prove anything before, you know, especially in, in this climate, you know, you have, to, you have to try it and use it. And I think Apple's always, always making it clear that, that for them, uh, the, the data is not important. They're not, they're not in that you know, user data uh, business maybe in quite the same way that a Google or Amazon or, or Facebook is. Mm -hmm. And that's the case, but educators are using Google ecosystem uh, the, uh, situations with hardware, it's working fine. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that, so to this point, that's not been a, a, a big issue. So, but, but I think Apple is always gonna put that foot forward there. Um, hey, we which just is learned, nice. we learned about the Android phones right. working with Facebook yeah. and, you know, keeping track of stuff, so. Yeah. So it's something, I mean, it's something that's nice, but I think price really matters. It goes back to price is, is a big bottom line for, yeah. for schools. And, you know, you talk about, like, teachers not being able to afford things, uh, like basic needs and, and the amount that, that parents have to give into school systems, that, that money matters. And I think that, that that's really the most important thing. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Scott Sign, thank you very much. All right, thanks. Thanks, Scott.